What's going on, guys? <clears throat> it's your boy Christian Perez back at you with another video. You guys asked me for some more haircut tutorials, so here I am. Today's video, we're gonna be doing a uh, little undercut with some curly hair, little part, little part right here on the side, ball fade underneath. Like I said, some curly hair on top. You notice I'm a little scruffy, don't mind the scruffiness. Don't mind it. At the end of the day, it doesn't matter if I'm scruffy. Because that's not what you're here for. You're here for the content. Anyways, my barber... My barber seems to be a little bit on strike. He doesn't want to stay after hours to cut my hair. Come on, man. That's all we do. Eat, sleep, cut. It's, all, it's not right, man. Also, if this is your first time visiting my channel and you have not subscribed. If you've been to my channel before and you have not subscribed, it's okay. What exactly are you waiting for? Subscribe! Let me know what you guys think of it. Make sure you smash that like button. Make sure you subscribe. Get active in the comments. And share this video, guys. Appreciate your time as always. So let's get started. All right, so let's get it, guys. Like I said, we're going to be doing a ball fade with uh, curly hair on top. It's going to be an undercut. So we're going to start out using our Andis T Outliners, the Blackout Editions. We want to create our first guideline here. Usually I use detachable blade clippers, but I know a lot of you guys starting out don't have those. So if you don't have those, it's just another way like I said, there's a thousand ways to draw a picture, just as long as you get the same result. So instead of using the detachable blade, I'm using the Andis T outliners to, uh, to create this first guideline. I really use the detachables just because they're stronger and just so you can save the blade on your, on your trimmers. Here we're using the Andis Masters with the lever all the way open. We create our second guideline. We're going to go about a quarter of an inch, half an inch up with the lever open. I also like to use the Andis T outliners to create that guideline as well because I'm doing this super, super low. So it's a little more, it's a little smaller. I can get in those tighter areas with the Andis T outliners as opposed to the uh, detachable blade clipper. So here we're going to start closing the lever notch by notch and working our way down so it's all the way closed and blend right into that bottom line. We can fade out that bald line. definitely couldn't be happier guys i appreciate all the love i appreciate you guys sharing out there hitting that like button getting active in the comments and definitely appreciate the subscribers all the new subscribers thank you for all the love Okay, so now we pretty much have that bald line blended out. So now we're going to take our Andes Magnetic number 2 guard, the lever closed, and we're going to start to disconnect the hair, the bottom hair from the top hair. Here we have the Andes Magnetic number 1 guard with the lever open, which is equivalent to a 1.5, and, and we're going to start working our way into that number 2, being mindful not to raise it too high, and then close the lever notch by notch and work our way down. Here we have the Andes Magnetic Zero Guard with the lever open, which blends right into that number one. When I start getting to these lower guards or no guard at all, I start using more of the corners of my blade. We're going to work the lever closed, same process, same concept, and work all the way, our way all the way down and it'll blend into that next guideline. I'm going to repeat the same process on the other side now. Thank you. 
back using the number one. Here I'm just doing some touch up work with no garden. And now we're back using the Anesty outliners. Doing the shape up in the front. Make sure you use the corners of it like a pencil and be mindful not to push the customer's edge back. Here I'm knocking down just some of the frizz in the front just so I can get a clean canvas to work on the front edge area. And I'm going to use a little bit of spritz and that helps hold the hair in place. As you can see I'm using the air hose here. You can also use a blow dryer and brush the baby hairs down that way it will hold it in place. Here we're going to start knocking off the rest of the bulk that's at the bottom using our Andis T outliners. Like I said, I usually reserve this for the uh, Andis MVPs or any other detachable blade clipper, but for the sake of the video or the purpose of the video, I started out using the trimmers and uh, I'm going to finish it off with the trimmers. Here I'm just doing some touch up work, just going back over. You always want to cross check your work. Use your mirror always. The mirror doesn't lie. You can see there's a little bit of bulk there, so I wanted to make sure I knock that down. Clean, it, clean that up. And here we're doing the part. I'm not really a design person per se, but parts aren't too bad to do. You make sure you're working with clean lines. And just like doing the edge, you want to use the corner of the blade like a pencil. That helps you kind of draw. You can see right here when I'm doing this circle or this loop using the corners of the blade. Also, after you go over the line, you want to flip the edger around, as you can see here. And that helps you get it clean on both sides gives you a more defined defined part and then obviously you want to go over with the razor so here I'm using 245 shave gel you can get yours at www.245.com apply some directly onto where you're gonna shave and start cleaning up the part
here I'm using a barber comb, guys. You want to make sure you wipe off that excess gel, especially when you're doing beards. Because it leaves like a little haze on there and it may look sharp but it may not be so you want to wipe that off that's what i'm using the barber comb for and just retrace and making sure the, li the lines are nice and sharp so here's the final product as usual i appreciate you guys so much i appreciate the growth on the channel i appreciate you guys subscribing hitting that like button getting active in the comments I appreciate it all thank you guys so much as usual i appreciate your time and i'll see you guys next week with another video